Taking a look back at the first full week of 2014 on the Red and Black Rewind. The Cardinals welcomed home Bobby Petrino as its new football coach on Thursday. Petrino was 41-9 during a four-year tenure at UofL from 2003 to 2006. That night, 24th-ranked Memphis got the better of the 12th-ranked men's basketball team, 73-67, the first home loss of the season for the Cardinals, but the team bounced back on Sunday in a 71-63 win over SMU. Luke Hancock poured in a career-best 23 points, and this throwdown by Montrez Harrell wowed the crowd for the Power Creative Play of the Week. Ten Cardinals won multiple events as the 13th-ranked women swimmers and divers pummeled Houston and Cincinnati, while the number eight men swept away the Bearcats in beautiful Ralph Wright Natatorium Saturday. The men's tennis team turns their attention to the spring dual match season after a solid tune-up at the UCF Quad Tournament in Orlando. Track and field picked up eight individual wins at the Gene Edmonds Cup in Indiana as the indoor season gets into full swing. Shoney Schimmel's 25 points helped the fifth-ranked women to a 62-54 win at USF Sunday, remaining unbeaten in conference play. And the UofL Athletic Hall of Fame has five new members. Baseball's Sean Green, softball's Tara McClure Isabel, football's Chris Redman, field hockey's Pip Sanders, and basketball's Dewan Wheat. That's your Red and Black Rewind.